let's figure out how much you're gonna get paid. All right, and we can do that uh, by using linear relationships and forecasting the future. So our x coordinate is relating to what? Years. To years. Okay. And what do you think the y coordinate might be? Money. The amount of money you're gonna make. Okay. So what we are going to do right now is you are going to create six linear equations. So how do I get a linear equation? Think about your homework that you did last night. Remember I put the three problems on the board? Wait, no, you're doing four. How much money 2019 someone would make? Okay? So we're going to use each equation to figure out in 2019 how much money could be made. Why do you think a salary is important? Yeah, I don't know. Pay bills. Okay. Just heard it. Salary is important because we have to pay bills. Okay. What type of bills do you think you might have to pay? These are expenses that everybody is going to have. Okay. So we have each of our degrees. Okay. The gross income that you guys calculated, I'll have to go back and switch those to. If you only want to have one job, what education level at minimum do you need to survive? Okay, you need some college. Look at high school. Why do you think we chose to use the years 2002 to 2012? It gives us more information. What else? Why didn't I pick 2010 to 2012? It was not recent. It's not what? Recent. Well, we went back to 2002. Okay. No, what's been happening the last couple of years? Recession. We're a recession. We've kind of been staying the same, right? So if we had only picked these years, we wouldn't have had a great... A, a great difference and it wouldn't have been really accurate. So the more years that you can go back, the more accurate it's going to be. Yes. On Monday, we're going to talk about those things and I'm going to have you write a letter to your peers explaining why they should get an education and how it can affect them later. And then my hope is that all this data is going to be put up in the front lobby so that the 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th graders can read what you found using your linear relationships and your research digging into this data so that they can make informed decisions based